Fantasy Alarm TV. I am your host, Ray Flowers. Let's talk Yankee shortstop Didi Gregorius, hard to spell his name, kind of interesting for the 26-year-old, uh, brings a very strong glove and most likely will have a very long and successful career. Does that translate into fantasy success? We'll find out probably not in a second here. First number is eight. That's the number of stolen bases that he has in 346 career games. He stole five last year, which to this point is a career best. Second number is 22. That's the number of home runs he has hit in his 346 games. Career best last season of nine. Now, what this basically says is, yeah, the guy doesn't have a lot of a track record. We don't have many seasons where he's playing 140 plus games to really draw on. But a run to 10-10 this season seems very unlikely. Um, all those comparisons that Derek Jeter look, please stop. Defensively, that's fine. He's actually better than Jeter was, but offensively, he's not even close. Uh, you look at you know him and you think with Gregorius, you'd be lucky to get 10 to 12 home runs. You'd probably be lucky to get 8 to 12 steals. I guess it could happen, but really, I would not be expecting it. The skill set, the performance to date, certainly isn't suggestive of the odds of that being high. And then the final number is 683. Now, that's his OPS to this point. And basically, to this point of his career, he has been league average and batting average. He's been league average and on base percentage, and he's got a, a slugging percentage of 368, which is terrible. It's just not a good mark. He really isn't a very good offensive player, period. He is 26. Maybe there's some growth here. But the fact is he's going to be, like I said at the top, playing in this league for a long time because of his glove. He's a passable offensive player. He's going to hit the bottom of the batting order. That's not going to aid his ability in the RBI run scored columns by any stretch of the imagination. Gregorius is really an ale-only target. I can't see why anyone would be taking him in a mixed league. If you're doing that, you're making a mistake. He should be left on the waiver wire in in-season pickup if you have no other choices. For more player profiles, rankings, strategies, and insights to win your fantasy baseball league, visit fantasyalarm.com/ray.